Hey, good morning. It is JK live on location at National University Health System. I'm with Dr. Joshua Lowe. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Dr. Joshua Lowe is a consultant at the National University Heart Center, Singapore. Also, assistant professor at the NUS Yonglu Lin School of Medicine. Now, sir, today we're talking about something that is very important to everyone in Singapore, especially me. I need to work on it diet and lifestyle. Tell us more about what exactly diet and lifestyle is all about. Sure. Um, a good diet and a healthy, active lifestyle are essential components of healthy living. So while we, what we eat can contribute significantly to our risk of developing um, potentially life-threatening diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and even heart diseases. Conversely, following a healthy diet and a balanced, nutritious diet can actually help us to protect ourselves against these diseases and improve our chance of living a longer and healthier life. Let's talk about the heart right about now. So, it's a very complex uh, system. However, diet and lifestyle actually plays a big part when it comes to the heart. Can you tell me more about this? Sure. So, simple diet and lifestyle changes actually affect the heart tremendously. If you have a good diet and follow a healthy, active lifestyle, what it does is that for normal people like you and I, we can actually prevent the onset of diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and all these lead on to preventing heart diseases. For patients who already have pre-existing diseases such as diabetes, high cholesterol, hypertension, following a good diet and healthy lifestyle can actually help them to control these diseases much better. Now I want to ask a question about, you know, we always hear about, you know, lead a healthy lifestyle, have a proper diet. But what exactly do you mean by proper diet and healthy lifestyle? So let's talk about working out first and foremost. How many hours are we looking at a week? And, and diet wise, what are we avoiding? That is a big question, doctor. Okay, so maybe um, let's talk about diet first. Okay, so to me, a good diet is a balanced diet. A balanced diet filled with all types of nutritious foods from all food groups. All right, um, and also we have to avoid foods that are not nutritious, that are potentially harmful to us. So the general principles are to have a well-balanced, nutritious diet, limit our fat intake, control and take less cholesterol, monitor the amount of salt that we're taking, consume enough dietary fiber, and avoid excessive alcohol consumption. Basically, follow the pyramid, listen to your mom. That's basically what you're trying to say. Yes, so <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the very easy ways to remember is something which um, Health Promotion Board is actually promoting. Um, it is a concept called the healthy plate. So picture this, um, before your meal, you have an empty plate in front of you. So you have to fill it with food. And how do you divide the types of food? So the principle is fill half your plate with fruits and vegetables. Okay? Fill a quarter of your plate with whole grain foods such as brown rice or wholemeal bread. And fill the last quarter with protein from lean meat, tofu and beans. So it is easy to conceptualize like that. My plate looks very different from your plate, doctor. I just want to let you know. Uh, in terms of workouts, however, can you tell us more about workouts? How many hours a week and how intense a workout should we be looking at? Okay, so to have a healthy lifestyle, okay, we have to change our paradigm of having to work out, okay? So... I like to promote this concept to my patients that we should actually lead an active lifestyle. An active lifestyle means to do at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity such as walking for at least 5 times a week. So this will bring us to about 150 uh, minutes a week. Um, or if you are physically more fit, you can actually do 25 minutes of more vigorous, higher intensity exercises such as jogging for more than three times a week. And so this will take us to about 75 minutes a week. Now, uh, just to wrap things up, doctor, we've been talking about the heart, diet and lifestyle. And 
most of us know that it's very important to take care of your heart. But as a doctor, what is the severity of not taking care of your diet and lifestyle? What kind of strain does it put on your heart? So as we talked about, um, having a healthy diet will lead to downstream uh, health benefits. Also keeping active, such as doing exercises, it will actually improve your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol. All these have potentially an impact on uh, people developing um, heart diseases such as heart artery blockages later on in life. So statistics have that a physically active person is approximately 1.5 times less likely of developing heart diseases than an inactive person. So would you, what would you say to the younger people listening right now? Our listeners, what would you say to them in, in terms of taking care of the heart? Your final words. So my message is to eat right and lead an active lifestyle. And it's simple to do. And this reaps huge health benefits to you and your family. All you have to do is to start. All you have to do is to start. Listen to Dr. Joshua over here. By the way, if you want to find out more about something that you should actually go for, this is, of course, the free health screening that I'm not sure if you're part of it, but a lot of, of doctors will be part of it. Hey, go to this website right now.